listen up. It's the number one voice of the Tri-State. I'm number one. It, it, it's, it's, it's cooking, cooking up, up 215. So let the show begin. Here we go. Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Smooth. And it's your girl, Lexi. <laughs> this is Cooking Up 2 on 5, where we get you up close to person with your favorite artists, entrepreneurs, shakers, and move makers. And today, we got a major guest in the building. We got my man, t for up Stone in the building. Oh, <laughs> my Do God. Feeling, Listen, man, we just trying to chase you down, man. You out here... You growling, making all this noise. I'm like, we need him in the kitchen. I'm here now. Yeah, blessed to have you here, brother. It's a major, it's a major joint, man. Yeah. You've yeah. been cooking. I appreciate that. Yeah, mm-hmm. you've been going crazy. Super, 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 duper crazy. Real so we crazy. We're jump right into it. You know, cooking up, we like to dive in your past a little bit. A little deep. Figure you out a little bit. Let the people know who Sloan really is. Uh-huh. Right. So you used to actually box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. That's yeah. wild. So what made you transition from boxing to music? I got hit by a car. It was a car crash that happened in 2017. Damn. I was coming My from God. the gym. But I always was rapping though since I was younger, but I stopped. I started boxing a little bit more serious because that was like my whole MO, boxing. Right. Ran to my family. I got hit by a car. I broke my ankle. I had a cast on my foot. So you really got hit, hit by that wow. jump. Wow. Like, Damn, that's fucked up. That's crazy how shit could change your whole trajectory, though. Know? Right. Yeah, sure. Like, you was boxing serious, like, yeah. really beating niggas up in a, in a yeah. joint, and then, like, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. That shit changed your whole life. Now you yeah, had no choice yeah, but to go full fledged with the music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you going to the studio more, and it just, it worked out, though, you know? <laughs> yeah, it definitely worked out. It definitely worked <laughs> out at yeah. this point. Yeah, yeah sure. That is crazy. And of course, okay, let me know about, so D4M of course means do it for Mir. Uh-huh. But okay, so that was about Tamir Scott. Yeah, yeah. But then, Iano's name is Amir Day. Yeah. So is this now do it for both Mirs? Do it for Mir two times. Exactly. <laughs> No, yeah, do sure. it for Mir two times. That makes a lot more sense now. I yeah, love that. And of course, Tamir's mom. I know that now she raps a little bit. Yeah. And her name's Yaya, I think. And I know that she was doing a lot for you guys starting off. Did yeah. she do your first studio session? Like, yeah. how did that work? I know yeah, he yeah. rapped first. <laughs> so did yeah. she was like, all right, I'm going to support them all together. Yeah, that's actually how I went. We, uh, we, uh, we, was, on, we was in his grandma house recording on the phone. Mm. We like like recording music yeah. on the phone? Mm-hmm. Yeah, on the phone. Dang. He had like a little Android and we just like recording on that. Just recording. With the beat and like rapping on it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> In the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we just end up one day, he like, yo, yes. my mom friend, she got a, he got a, my mom friend got a studio on 6th of Mass, we from 59th of Mass. <laughs> so we like, yeah. all right, baby, we about to walk up there, we gonna go up there, tell her to book it. But we gonna, we thought it was for free. We never knew you had to pay you for the studio. For so we in the studio, right? We ain't got no money. Like we were yeah. younger this time. Mm-hmm. We in the studio rap. He like, the session over, we record like three songs. He said, uh, that's a rap. The session over, he like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, ain't none of this music we in the studio though. Like, until I get, I get paid. We looking at him like, <laughs> well, we from the trenches. We looking at him like, what? Like, yeah. Right. I don't like how you said right. that. We looking at him though. His mom like, I got it. I, I, I'm gonna right. I got your research. It was only fifteen dollars. It's a crazy thing. Wow, only fifteen, you fifteen feel me? back in the day. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's not what you say. It's how you say it. <laughs> yeah, 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 for real. When, when you say ain't none of this music leave with a studio, yeah, it out of nowhere though. Right. Like, we just like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, take this music. You know? <laughs> take this whole studio and keep <laughs> no, playing no, with me. Yeah. Yeah. Where was the studio at? 16th of May. You said 16th. Okay, so 16th. it was close. 16th. 16th. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right around that the was corner. right around the corner. Yeah. That's crazy. Is it still there? Yeah. Well, I don't know. If, I don't know if he's still there though. Keep it being. I don't know if he's still. Cause like, we stopped recording. We only recorded him like two times. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And got older and it means yeah. like, all over the place. It's just going. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, uh, you start learning what 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 type of quality you want in your yeah. music. The first studio is like your first. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. It's crazy because to this day that music still on. SoundCloud. The yeah, for real? Studio, yeah. Is it doing numbers? Like, do that? Do people still go back and check out your old shit? I don't know. I really, I check it you out from time to time. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know because it's my. It's under like different names. It ain't under oh, D yeah. from Sloan. It's under Loney Capone. Yeah. King Mayor, Sarah Right. Gotti. Oh, your first, your first rap names and shit. Yeah. King yeah. Flacco too. Yeah, King Flacco. That was my. That was my. That was my whole shindig. Yeah. Uh-huh. That was your joke. Yeah. Yo, you looking surprised <laughs> that I know yeah, this? Yeah, definitely surprised how you. Know. <laughs> <laughs> How you know that though? Like. So you and Skiano, y'all was a duo, right? Like that, like a, you you didn't want to be a duo, but it was popping off with you and Ski. 
see me and him transitioning into a duo was like we dropped a song called Whip Out of Pop. We always was at the studio for like a long time. We never at the studio. I used to be rapping like by myself. Okay. He ain't never really like to go to the studio that much. Uh. But when he did, time to time, like we made a song called Whip Out of Pop in the basement on like 55th of Mass, like 55th of Mass. Okay. He stayed in the neighborhood. You're yeah, always in, the, yeah, always yeah. in the, around the way. So uh, we did a song called Whip Out of Pop. Yeah. That caught so much traction in like West Philly. No, first we did Whip It. We started from, we did Whip It. The whip it on um, whip the remix. Whip yeah. it, whip it, whip it. Uh huh. Or cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut mm-hmm. it. We made a whip it. Okay. And yeah, from the original. Yeah. Job, then yeah. it got like West Philly trash, and they got like twenty thousand views, ten thousand views, fifteen thousand. So like the like West Philly already knew who he was, but that yeah. started catching like more trash. Now they really yeah. start spreading. They, yeah, they're they getting it. they get numbers on SoundCloud, so YouTube now. Like yeah, that started getting uh, like a, a professional video done. Dying. That's gonna get more trash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hood fame. Then. We dropped our next, another song like like a year later called What About the Pot. Mm. It's Skeeter said, What About the Pot? That court traction in the whole city, like. Went far. Yeah, north, west. It, it started in west, then it went to north. Dying. Then it went all over, like. So would you say that was the main, the main joint? But, but we didn't, we ain't, we ain't transitioned to a duo yet. Oh. We still making solo music. Yeah. For a whole another year. That was 2018 we dropped What About the Pot. 2019, like, they like, damn, like. Y'all didn't make another Whoop by the Pot, ain't, but we still never made one. A year later, we made Whoop by the Pot Part 2. Yeah. It took off, like. Super bubble. 100K in a month. <laughs> Not 100K in five months, 100K in seven months, 100K in a month. The week after that, we had to rap again. I want to be back at it. 400K in a month. Don't diss me. It got leaked. A million. How'd it get leaked? Ski. <laughs> I mean, we, we just, I figured out later on the life, like, I, we never realized how I got leaked, like, oh, you keep sending it to everybody, like, right, right, you sent it, right it. The, but uh, the, all the stuff yeah. like that, like, yeah, uh-huh. him sending it to this person, I sent it to my homie, Taz Manny, he sent it to his little sister, his little sister sent it to the whole Heston school, <laughs> <laughs> shit like that, you feel me? What? Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, that's yeah, fire, that's though, because it's like, you, 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 you don't even look at it like you on this level where shit about to be on some, like, if I send this... Shit about to go viral if I send it to my homie. Yeah. If I send it over here, like it's gonna be cool. Yeah. And that shit went viral just from the root. Yeah. Straight send it out, leaked it before you even like on some famous shit. Yeah. You had a song leak. Yeah. That's crazy. Everything was getting leaked though with us. Yeah. <laughs> like it was everything we dropped after that, like what the pot, Wolf and Demon, everything was getting leaked. But it was Damn. him. He just said this shit he out. He keep acting confused with me, but he don't know that. He don't know that when he sent it to somebody, that they, they sending it. it out. He thinking it ain't, you know what I mean? Yeah. So he like, I only sent it to the X Y Z. Yeah, I only sent the they sent it to X Y Z. They sent the A B C and they sent it to the whole fuck the whole album team. that got in there. Exactly. So that's how that went, you know. But it oh. still did major numbers. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. So even wow. even after the so leak. he really stopped like caring. Or even though it get leaked, we still gonna do a million views. Mm-hmm. Right. You feel me? And that's what you gotta understand. Like when you early on, it's like as much as you wanted to count towards everything you're doing. It's about building that buzz. Like, as long as y'all was heating up in the streets, that shit, it set you up for It was to the point where, like, people act like they couldn't wait for us to drop. Like, yo, I, I'm selling it. I'm selling a song for this month. You feel me? Damn. So they selling the leak, John. Yeah, selling it. <laughs> and people was buying it because they really couldn't wait for us to drop. Like, we can't wait another month for y'all to drop. We can't wait every two months for y'all to drop. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then y'all, and then y'all f- made it official after that. Yeah, no, we made it official after, like, what about the pot two? Like, once back at it. Yeah. He just was rolling from there, like, and just said, fuck him up. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm-mm-mm. And you met Skiano in, like, 7th, 8th, or ninth grade. Like, what, 7th? Seven. No, 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 no. 8th, summertime. 8th. Mm. And you knew his cousin first. Yeah, I knew his little cousin. So how did you I even meet him? Uh, just being around the neighborhood, like, you know, like, he, like we all live in the same neighborhood, but, like, I'm on 59th and Madison directly, like, mm-hmm. on that block. And his little cousin on that block. His little cousin, that's like, I grew up with his little cousin. Yeah. Like, from, I love that. Yeah. I love that. So it's just a neighborhood thing going on. And then you were like, all right, this is like my brother now. Oh, yeah, for sure. I love that. So you wasn't even really close with his cousin. You was like, all right, we ain't that close. No, I was close. His cousin was younger here. than me. It was oh, like my young okay. boy. Okay. He was a young boy. Okay. So yeah, I used to bring him out to the porch. I used to bring him yeah. to the porch. It's like that. Like, yeah. my young boy. Yeah. Well, we never, we wasn't in the same grade, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all was just cool, but then, yeah, like, yeah. Older, then y'all really vibing, really. Yeah. Yep. That's all right. That's I love cool. that. So when it comes to D4M now, like who who else is involved in D four M? Like is there other artists? Yeah, as as of now, rapping, I'm probably like, like 
Well, his little cousin rapped too now. Okay. He that's just started funny. rapping. Yeah, his name J. Rap because of you or no, no, no. Okay. His cousin. I guess that's that's what it was. Exactly. Yeah, like, right. But it was uh, it was a few of us like few like locked up or passed away, but like active right now is probably only me. Okay. But you got Sim Santana. He come. He about to come back. You okay. got Tasmanian and uh, Gotti, Sir Gotti, he passed away, and Hugo. Yeah, I know you and Sim had just did something recent. I seen like snippets on That's the ground. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Sim coming crazy. back. Yeah, he coming back. So is Sim, are you and Sim like, is that going to be like a team up thing? Is he a solo artist? Or you no, he's a solo artist, but we all deformed as one. It was it started as one big movement. But so you he got part of that. Yeah, yeah, you got Mansky oh, a duo. Right. You got, you got. Sim is so large, you feel me? Like, we mm -hmm. opened the doors in the city for people to come in. Right. Sim came in in the city, blew up yeah. at us, opened the doors more in the industry a little bit, you know? Right, yeah, more connections. Y'all in there. Y'all definitely in there. Because yeah. some shit went stupid, too. Mm -hmm. It shit did crazy number. You know, a game. Had, had the old shit on lock, dancing everywhere. It's just crazy just to see how shit just, wow, bro. Like, the, the sound, your sound is everywhere. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about your sound and other people Kind of using it taking a little it. bit, yeah, like taking See, it and I, using I, it. It be like, it be like, the grizzly in me, it made me want to be on bully mode with niggas, you hear me? <laughs> it made me want to be, it was the like, da, da, da. but then I try to be humble and I realize like, yeah. damn, I'm going to be doing that right if people ain't, just don't try to be cool with me using yeah. it. Though. Don't try to think we're going to do a song together yeah. right? and I'm going to co-sign it. Mm. Yeah. But I ain't going to bully you. Right. About it, you hear me? Yeah. As you gonna let them ride. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna let you do you. Right. I'm not, but I'm gonna stay humble about it because, like, I sit back and say, like, just like I say, I'm a young thug of Philly because, like, when he came on, everybody started trying to be voice in the floor. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now everybody trying to do or snapping it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I just let it flow, you know? Where did you get it from? Just creating, like, just trying to be so creative with my voice, like, Really feeding off, me and Ski feeding off each other. And it, it just started happening by accident. It's like, mm. we look, my sister always say this, right? I always think about this. She be like, if we ought to be two men looking each other in our eyes, mm -hmm. it ain't weird at all. Right. It make you be like, like, like who, what the fuck? Who yeah. Them? Like, like that joint you yeah. did, the beat yeah. on the table joint. Yeah, and like, oh, what you mean? Like, <gasps> wait, yeah. wait, 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 here I come up, like, you feel yeah, me? Like, really hard. getting real creative, but looking into her eye. Yeah. yeah. And just f feeding off each other energy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But it's just like, now I just, you see me doing it by myself, be like, they make you, I'm just, still got him living through me, you feel me? Yeah. That's dope. That's super How was dope. that transition to go from working through that creative process with him, and now you're trying to work through it by yourself? It's crazy. I always say this, right? Like, making music always been easy, but it been like, it was like way easier when it was me and him. Like, exactly. Now I gotta, like, all right, I can go for like 20 seconds. Get my all in them 20 seconds. Yeah. Then I'll let you carry another 20, 30 exactly. seconds. Now I can carry, you know what I'm saying? Give me time to think. Then once I'm in the studio, I got to really sit back and think about a whole song. Think about like. And carry it all yourself. Yeah. 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 Do we just think, just think. It just make me think more, write more, you feel me? Yeah. Then how I want to come next? Cause you can get stuck on a track for like a month. You can get yeah. stuck on one word, like one line. Mm. Like, Cause you don't want it to sound the same. You don't want it to be the same yeah. flow. Yeah. And then I used to like record in the studio, it'd be like he used to smoke weed and I ain't smoke weed. So he'd be blowing in my face and I'd be catching contact, but I could just think. <laughs> I would catch the contact, <laughs> dog. We record in dark area, it'd be so dark, like like, like not even not no weird evil shit, but it'd be like evil, evil low, just dark. Yeah. yeah. Right. It, it come to the studio grimy. at nighttime. Yeah. yeah. That's all because of the wolf yeah. like, come to the studio the at nighttime. Wolf and the demon. Mm -hmm. in the all red studio. Mm. Just go, you hear me? Yeah. yeah. It sounds like yeah. you just pull that energy out. You can just pull yeah, that energy out. Yeah, so now yeah. I, I I keep the studio real. I come record at nighttime. I might tell one of my homies, they come in right quick. Come in the booth right quick. Just yeah. smoke. Stand right there. Just smoke. Go ahead. Do you? I just do me. I love that. Yeah, I love hard. that. That's it's amazing. definitely easy when you got somebody with you. When you got that yeah. partner you can bounce and feed with. Right. Yeah, yeah, and that's so sure. crazy how connected you two were. And I know that your mom and her, his mom are still close to this day and going on trips together. You know a whole lot. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know that? She the P.I. for real, for real. Yeah, they're, 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 now yeah. everybody knows it's me. <laughs> right? Because yeah. we mentioned her a lot. Like, I was about to say, y'all be getting like... Y'all be getting to see the, the face behind the, the craziness. Yeah. It don't be me. I told you. <laughs> the face right, behind right? the craziness. Yeah. But no, I love everybody that comes on the show. But you are yeah. one of the most creative. And I, I love it. That. And I love the fact that your parents 
stay together. That's yeah. a blessing. Uh, that's yeah. amazing. It is. Yeah, I still be in community wow. with mom a lot. I just talked to her like two days ago. Yeah, that's what's up, dog. You do that. your own thing. It's like, did you did you see the sound that you were building becoming what it is? And did you feel like you were going to be able to maintain that sound throughout your career? Yeah, I, and I always say this one thing, right? Uh... I don't like the. I knew it was gonna be big because I knew how different it was, mm -hmm. and just hearing like, I can hear myself rap, and I'd be like, man, this shit different. But it's just like hearing him do it too. Like he like a, it's like yeah. watching me too. Yeah. And him is like watching him yeah. too. Like watching you. Know what I'm saying. Yeah. So me watching him, it'd be like, yo, this shit. You different. Seen him just hearing him do it too. Yeah. Like yo, this shit. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. I used to be amazed off of shit he can do. Mm -hmm. uh, feel me? Yeah. Like yo, how you? You know what I mean? He'll be amazed off shit. I, you know what I'm saying? Just like somebody would come to the studio like. Different flows. Like I remember, I came what? Like we couldn't think. Like then, how? Like sometimes the beat, they got to the point where we start matching. Like the beat would be like so different. Like then, how are we gonna catch this part of the beat? Oh, uh, okay. Nigga, we better you. than the beat. Yeah. Wow. Make this beat keep up with us. Mm. Switch them to flow. Oh, oh, whoa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm in the trail with the co, co, co. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And it just bounced off the beat. You it's created like, your, yeah. you know, on top of yeah. the beat. Yeah. Create That's a beat on top of the beat. And it just be so different. And it'd be like, and I always say, like, you never supposed to switch. And I ain't never switch it up. Because mm -hmm. you never supposed to switch it. Like, the whole world didn't even hear me yet. So I would yeah. never switch it up no time. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to give yeah. you, I will, it's going to be different every time I rap. But yeah. I'm not going to never completely switch it up, like start singing. Right. You know, right. you're still going to keep giving them you because there's a lot of people that still yeah. haven't even experienced yeah. you. Yeah. Imagine, y'all love this shit. Imagine what. The, uh, the rest of the world gonna do once, exactly. once they really get yeah, into it. And I feel it. like that'd be like a lot of motherfuckers down for they get discouraged because somebody say, oh, the whole, we heard it already. The city heard that. Mm. You talking about the city, bro? The world didn't hear that yet. Like, keep doing you. Like, I wish I could tell like a lot of artists that too. I always say yeah. this to everybody. I wish I could tell other artists, go back to that. Keep doing you. Yeah. yeah. That's you a blew joke. up for that from a yeah. reason. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You didn't blow you up. You speaking facts. Yeah. No, that's you, a, that's a heavy gem. That's a heavy gem. That's gym. real. Cause I think a lot of people do get more concerned. Like we, some people, some of us small-minded. Yeah, small like all we see is the area that's around us. Yeah. When you do that one thing and it's hot right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? You start thinking like, damn, I gotta do something different. Yeah. And they heard that. I gotta exactly. switch it up. But no, you really can just keep pushing that same sound. That, yeah. Even that same song, like motherfucker. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his crazy. name? Pushed that same drum for like three years. Was it a year? Something crazy. Oh. Um, the bull, Zoo Gang, the bull, uh, God damn, why well, I can't get a Fetty <laughs> I was about to say, oh, Fetty Wap. I'm like, The song he came about? out on, it was like he pushed that same song, yeah, only that over song, and over, for like yeah. a year. Like, you know, I'm sure yeah. it was niggas looking like, damn, bro, you just, you know, put nothing else out. He's right. gonna keep pushing this joint, but he literally pushed it until the whole world was hip to that joint. I be hearing shit like that. Even shit. me, when I hear shit like that, that shit give me like motivation with other shit, like, to stay on your shit. Like, just to like yeah. keep pushing, like, a, you feel me? Mm hmm. Cause you could do it. Yeah. And we like we we get so caught up in thinking that the two people around us is the only yeah. ones, and everybody feel how they feel. And I think of that now. Like, see, I wish I'd have thought of that like, er, even early on in me and Ski career. I, used to, I remember we had delete a song because like, but that like we done went from five hundred k a month to a million a month to like three hundred k a month. Felt like three hundred k a month, even though that's like real life industry numbers. Yeah. Three hundred k is yeah. a lot of fuck numbers. That's a lot of fucking. People. But we so young minded, we like. Oh, but delete that off YouTube. We don't need yeah. the 300k. Oh, yeah, y'all spoil it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what you spoil it. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, you yeah. don't think yeah. like, you spoil it. You was young. Yeah. Y'all yeah. spoil it. Your music popping That's so hard crazy. that when your shit only do 300k, you like, man, that, that young up. <laughs> That's different. That's <laughs> different, different kind of problems right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And does yours, I know you're signed currently to... AWOL. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so do you feel like if they come to you and say, we want to give you a more well-rounded look and sound what would you say to that like if they say that like like, like change my sound? Say, yeah well see my lead was like like a like a independent partnership type of so they really like i really can do like, they whatever you want yeah, yeah. They, they understand That's that you're the creator yeah, I love that. Like partner, you yeah. Know? yeah i love that yeah that love was that. that something that you was worried about when it came to like having a deal or having somebody step in with you was them trying to dictate a change which you already was doing? I mean, yeah, I thought, I didn't think of that why I signed, I didn't think that they would even try to do that, but like, okay. knowing even though I got like a good contract, you know, I got a good, like, right. like they not you gonna try to, yeah, right. they, they not gonna try, yeah, shit. certain shit. They, so, yeah, I really, that wasn't really no worries, no, I ain't really had no worries with that. All right, yeah, that's all right. So, um, 
was Lil Wayne Lollipop like a big inspiration for you when it came to making music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, that yeah. was a song that Yeah, I heard that song. It's crazy because I was like young. I ain't really hear I mean I heard like Roxanne on the radio before I heard Biggie because my mom, you know what I mean? I heard right. Tupac, Easy E. She had a whole little CD case, of just all different Teddy Pentagrass, all types of music. Mm-hmm. So I remember like my first like introduction to hip hop was like Biggie and Tupac. Just knowing they had a beef, just shit like that, just looking yep. at that. Yeah. But I didn't pay it no mind for real, for real. Like, yeah, I just heard, young, yeah, just, just, just looking at shit on TV. And, right, right. You know, but I was in school one day, like elementary school. I, I can't remember what grade I was in. But they wasn't supposed to be on YouTube. Like, they was old, they were like old, they was like a fifth grade, probably like four fifth. Yeah. And they was playing like a song, like, like it was Lil Wayne, like a lollipop. But I'm like, who that? Like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Who yeah. that? Lolly, like, you know what I mean? Like, a whole bunch of girls in there yeah. with lollipop. I was just like, as a kid, I was just like amazed by that. I'm like, yeah. that shit looked cool to me. So I went home and I looked it up again and I just yeah. watched and I used to listen to it all the time. And then that shit made me want to really. Make you want to really rap and go crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. I think a Lil Wayne. I mean, they say they say that a lot of people is influenced by Lil Wayne. Like you mm-hmm. know, our whole culture now, with, like dreads and tattoos. Everybody. And, like yeah. they say, Lil Wayne inspired yeah. the whole fucking generation of people. Like at yeah, this point, like, that ain't why I got dreads and tattoos though. It's probably you know, that ain't why I got dreads and tattoos though. Why you got that. dreads and tattoos? I got tattoos because I was just young getting tattoos. Like, yeah, that's why yeah. I got tattoos. I had a tattoos with a curly top. All right, what you made you go to the dress? I got dressed. I wanted to try something different. Just I don't know. We just all started growing yeah. them like more on my way, but we just started growing them. I just want. I had braids at first. Okay. But they was taking too long to grow. Yeah. Like they weren't taking too long to grow, but it was just it was like, I don't know. They probably do take longer to grow than dress. You feel yeah. Me? yeah. But I said, fuck it, I'm gonna go to dress. I just wanted to try a new hairstyle. Like, so too. fuck it. Yeah. And it worked out for it you. It worked out for me. Yeah. And they love it. Hard. I can't even cut them off yet. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking where I have a yeah. fit. <laughs> you probably sell the dreads on a, online though. You bring something. Make a little bag. You know what I sell the make dreads? Make a bag. Why no. not? Well, look, it's I'm sure it can yeah. work. You be having some shorties running around the trucks sure. and all that. <laughs> right. They want to buy some dreads. They probably cut it off if they could. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I haven't seen so much shit on them. YouTube. I don't that voodoo shit. I don't even know about dreads. Oh, you're right. You're right. I believe in that. That's real. I'm making a voodoo dollar. Yeah. Trying to put a spell on it. doing that. Yeah. Wonder why he acting how he acting. Exactly. Whole time, Whole got a different, lot. whole different thing. <laughs> That's funny as hell. I man. love that. All right, man. You, you hungry yet? You ready to get into this food? Yeah, let's do it. Listen, listen, man. You already know who it is. It's your boy Smooth. And it's your girl Lexi. We got D for M Sloan in the building. We about to get into this food. It's cooking up two and five. Let's go. It's our favorite part of the show. That's your favorite. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, chef. What you got cooking? You already know. <laughs> Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Smooth. It is my favorite part of the show. It is time to get into that food. Now, I'm sure all y'all by now, you fans of the show, you know Chef Dina. Chef Dina, representing G's Kitchen. Yeah. What you got for me today? Today we have our fish and grits. Um, Mm Mm-hmm. It is creamy grits topped with fried fish, and we have our Little Mermaid drink. The little Mermaid, you mm-hmm. always get us right with these drinks. It looks like you even got like some dry aged oranges in that joint. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some mm-hmm. special oranges? Yeah, yeah. Shaping the orange or something? Mm-hmm. With the shimmer mm-hmm. in there. Y'all can't mm-hmm. see it from there. Bottom of the sea. Yeah, we're going to put it in there. Y'all going to see it got a little glittery, a little sparkle, mm-hmm. a little pearlescence under there. Mm-hmm. It's moving and shit. It's like a little mermaid <laughs> theme we got today. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Little Mermaid. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Make sure go tap in, go see it, go support, you know, Holly Bailey, you know what I'm saying, doing her thing. Absolutely. That's how we do it, cooking up, man. We yeah. represent the whole culture. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So let everybody know how to get with you if they want some shrimp and grits or anything else because we know you get busy with everything. Absolutely. You can follow me on Instagram at G Kitchen, J I E Kitchen underscore underscore. And you also can email me at Shadina Simmons at gmail.com. Well, there you go. Chef Dina, G's Kitchen. It's your boy Smooth, cooking up two and five. Let's get back to the show. Let's go. Y'all already know who it is, your boy Smooth. And it's your girl Lexi. We still sitting with my brother D from Shlom. We got this oh, good old yeah. food in front of us right now. Yeah. 
Y'all know? This okay. food looks look good. Mm. It, 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 it's, looking, <laughs> it's looking amazing, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? This food looks so she, good. I was lost for words. Yeah. There you go. I was so lost for words just now because this mm-hmm. food actually does look amazing. And this man's plate yeah. is the best out of all of ours. Listen, we got yeah, but the, the food look amazing. We got the whole mm-hmm. little mermaid vibe going we got on. Got the little more. It's like the perfect timing. Yeah, shout out, this. shout out, shout out. Uh, you know, Chef Dina, Chef G's Dina. Kitchen. Oh, we say dig in. Yeah, we say Oh, we dig in. We ain't say grace. Oh, okay. Right, all right. We just going, bless our food. You want to say grace? Right? Yeah, right? You, know, <laughs> you, 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 you want, want to, to say, say, It's a race look, now. You look, I, I, race to get this book. Bless the yeah. food, Lord. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bless man. the food. There we go. Wait, we didn't get into mm. the drinks. Should we have gotten into the drinks? We we told them about the drinks. Y'all see the drinks. We're going to get into the drinks. We're going to taste that too. But right now, I'm hungry. Oh, all right. I'm just hitting, too. Oh my God, uh-huh. it tastes good. Let me get into this. Good. Oh, we ain't even tell them. So, you, your bro, your favorite like type of food is breakfast food. Mm-hmm. That's my whole. <laughs> I can't get all the way out. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that's my whole thing. I like breakfast food. Good. Yeah, I mean, like, that's crazy, right? I love breakfast food, but I never had this. Never had fish and grits. You never, never had. had the- <gasps> I, I'm I'm more so of a waffle and eggs. Okay. Oh, okay. French toast and eggs, pink right, and right, eggs. Right, right, right. So the traditional. Could that be yeah. my yeah, that yeah. Be, that's my vibe too. So when you mm-hmm. said breakfast, I was thinking that shit too. It was like growing up, my mom used to cook stuff like yeah. this, but my sister used to eat I used to like You want you want the sweet shit. You want yeah, the wild foods sweet, in yeah. it. And yeah, that's me too. I'm a heavy like French toast boy. Yeah. So it's so crazy, right? The universe is so wild. He said something about breakfast food. And it was in my notes. And I was like, damn, I should hit Dean and tell her, like, you know, make something for breakfast. Mm-hmm. But I be like, you know, I be trusting in it. Like, you know, I'm going to just go ahead and let Dina do what Dina do. Yeah. And, and boom, we get here. Look what she I, got. She got some fish and grits for her. Hold up. He just said he needed a knife. What did I say? They tried to claim on me for mm-hmm. getting a knife. But now I'm, he said I'm just, he needed a knife. I'm just stay digging in my jaw. I don't, that jaw I'm breaking up. We're trying me. to be dainty, sir. We're mm. trying to look good on this camera to the <laughs> make, crowd. Make me look like the savage, huh? Yes. We gotta make you look crazy. That's wild. Oh my god. So um, so we bang. You wanna get him a knife real quick, somebody? Let me drink real fast. No, no, everything's sanctioned. Everything's sanctioned. Everything's sanctioned. Oh, you good? Me. That is um, hilarious. <laughs> so, uh, I had to think about what he was saying. That so is amazing. Yeah, and y'all, y'all know how I feel about hot sauce. If it ain't crystals, it ain't real hot sauce. Don't talk to me about nothing else. <laughs> but um. Oh my god. So we heard you working on a, a mini docuseries series about, you know, your career, the, the sound you started that's popping off in Philly that's taking over the yeah. world right now. Yeah, it's crazy because um I ain't get a chance to see the full um final of the of the docu series. Yeah, but what I, I seen I seen most of it right and and it tap into like a lot of stuff we were talking about even with like where we was at when we when we first recorded and time and mom. Pay for the studio session and tap into that building that where, where the mm-hmm. house it was at. And it's tapping to a lot. It, 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 it's so heavy. And the amount of minutes it is, mm. it's so heavy. Yeah. Like it, it, it showed like a both side, like, like wow. two sides of my life. Like even talking about old teachers, like the real life side wow. is going on that like that like people see about that I don't really talk about like, like even like a little bit negative side and talk about like the positive, you know what I'm saying? Right. And it and yeah. then tap back into like I'm gonna drop an album and tap into the album, like the wolf side. I you mean, the wolf side is kind of like the drill side, but I call it the wolf side, like my alter ego. That's hard. Yeah. So we'll tap into the wolf side and the club side, like. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just all just like. I love that. I yeah. love that. Yeah, man, that's, that's super hard, bro. And yeah. you talk to the teachers from Mastery? Mastery, yeah. So just them? Yeah, yeah, I ain't even go visit my uh, elementary school. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, you look. Sh- I love you in shock face because you yeah. be looking at me like, how yeah, is this girl? I'm, I'm just, I'm just, just trying to see what she's gonna say next. Like, right, you're like, all right, what's <laughs> about to happen next? That's you about to just like, bring up my birth certificate? <laughs> like, what, what you gonna do? Yeah, you know about social security. <laughs> 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 I didn't find all that one. one. <laughs> I didn't find that one. But that is amazing. And you were doing, and also you're doing old head in this year. Is old head coming out this year? Yeah, old head coming out in July. Oh, wow. Yep. Mm. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, like uh. That was a great experience. More of me, like, just like, star, like, yeah, movie, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you really, you really getting your acting on, like yeah. you. Yeah. You, and it's crazy, you right? Out there right now. Cause after Bel Air, uh, uh, like I play like, like, is it, if you play like a certain amount of time in the movie, like a like a real, 
mm-hmm. and you really like, you know what I mean, on world television, you get eligible for a lot. Just mm. off us. Like, you can... Uh, off I, of that I could have been bit one minute less, and I wouldn't be eligible for as much as I am. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I played so much time. Yeah. Like, and it wasn't even a lot of time. But the fact that you yeah. made it in that amount yeah. of time... I had a exactly. character. I had, a, like, a character, like, my own name character that I'm eligible for, like, SAG, like, and uh, some other stuff that I can't even remember off the top of my head that I can get, like, more rules, and there'll be main rules. There won't be no background. Yeah. Damn. That's but amazing. But I've been so... Like I said, I still got to lock in and mm-hmm. focus on... I can focus on more than once, but I, I would have to probably like send the $3,000 out, out for pay for this, for the agency, blah, blah, blah. Right. then go out LA a little bit more, probably do at school just right. a little bit, you know what I mean, just certain yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And go out, go audition out LA, go do it. But I still got, I'm trying to lock in the music. All right, let me lock in two, three months, four months. I signed a deal. All right, I signed a deal, but I still ain't really like all the way trying to tap in the You ain't getting right. as busy as you want That's really my job. Like, I sit back and I think every right. day, like, you know, people are like, nah, I gotta get up and do this. I gotta get up and go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I gotta get up, or I gotta go to the studio. I gotta read emails. I, like, that's my, you know what I'm saying? It's really like, job. Man, like, everything like, I'm doing yeah, is like, whole job. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, I wanted to really lock in on the net before I like take acting a little. Yeah. And I still ain't decided to start taking, even though I got that rule right there. Yeah. I still didn't decide. To. So this is on your light side. That mean like, yeah. you, 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 your, your main focus is still music and you want to continue putting all your focus on that, but yet, your acting career at this point, it's a career. It, yeah. It's starting to build already. You yeah. got two roles. Yeah. Include, I want to say three roles, including your own mini doc, because I feel like once yeah. you get into that, that also helps people look yeah, at that, you. Yeah, and that's crazy, because that was like, like one of the guys with the mini doc, he worked on he worked on scene at Bel Air. He told me, like, yeah, I remember you. And it was so Damn. many, like, it was like 100 or something guys out there, like, working on set, like, Mm. Waters spray face wet. Wow. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, everybody got a different job. Wet. Yeah. I everybody got that. a different job. Yeah, it was some different people like give them another shape up right quick. Brush his hair like that. Or, Damn, they was doing fix all it, that. Fix stunt double. Stuff like you know, everybody got a particular so it was so many people I didn't remember. But that was like a different experience of seeing all that, like, you know. Yeah. yeah. I was about to ask you, so so what was that like being on a set uh ballet? It was different. It was different. I felt like blessed. I felt like humble. Like I was just being humble the whole time. I just felt like so like blessed because it's like yeah. talking to other people who, who there they, and they playing like background roles. I'm like, damn, like how you? They asked me how I get this role. I said, you just DM me. Like, yeah. I just got a DM. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like, how DM, did you nigga, I'm going to act the school. What? I'm in the background. Like, been doing this for 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Like, who are you supposed to be like? They trying right. to figure out like, who are you? Like, right. and they like from LA. And, like, some people don't even know how you're like, so who are you? That's crazy. I'm just a rapper. Like, I just. And yeah. How did you and know? And they trying to figure out. Because I'm talking, I'm like, then how y'all, what y'all, how y'all get this back on road? Yeah. How y'all? Uh, my my agency filmed this, and he uh signed me to it, or I went online and searched up acting job or something, like kind of something like that. Yeah. And they told me like, uh, they'll pay me such and such to be a background just to run in this scene, run away when everybody run. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Damn. That's like, crazy. Yeah, no, and all started from a DM. Wait, hold on. How did you not? How did you know it wasn't fake or it was fake? Like, how did you know? What's her name? Ellen. Yeah. yeah. Ellen. Here you go. Don't you make this face. Like, I, I, like when people ask me this, when I, when I, when I, I always forget her name sometimes. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> sometimes I gotta sit back and think, like, damn, what I forgot. I, mm-hmm. I learned a lot of names this week. What's her? <laughs> All right, who's next? But yeah, she she had DM me. She like, uh, would you like to audition for? Yeah, but how? Movie? Like, what? Did she have like twenty followers? Like, how yeah. did you know this was a person and this was real? Cause, don't know, cause it's just certain stuff. People don't just say stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. Like I ain't got a, I ain't got a DM before. Like I seen like sometimes I don't even be seeing my DMs. Sometimes yeah. I'll be forgetting to check them. I might go like a whole like, like yeah. days without checking them, and then uh, and whatever was up top might go down and yeah, and I'll be forgetting to check her stuff. Over. Yeah. So especially like when I post the music around the time, but yeah. mm-hmm. I didn't got DMs where it was like you want to be on uh. That I didn't see till like weeks later. Like, do you want to be yeah, on? Yeah, um, something crazy. And I can't. It was a Netflix show with I think it was like Nick Cannon. It was like a music. It was, a guy blew up off of it. Like, it was it Netflix? Rhythm and Flow. Okay. I and I didn't that. see it till like weeks later. So I was like, was late, late. you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I try to go check my thing. I try to scroll you down. Mm-hmm. I really don't be seeing a lot but of But you stuff. really still be having these, like... Yeah, it's this deal that I didn't even see right now. opportunities in your deal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I, re- I said, all right, I sent that over. We sent that. I sent the email over to my representative, my manager. And they, and they, uh, they shot back the, uh, the, 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 the script. Line, the, the script, thing, the script. Yeah, yeah, to read and, off. And, and I sent it back, like, that same, like, two days afterwards. 
I hit up one of my videographers. Yo, let me use your white screen right here. I need you to record this. We don't get some money out the bank. Like, really try to really get the full rule. Damn. Like, wow. You know I, mean? I would love to see this. Yeah. I think I still got it. You should play this for me. Yeah, I'm After the hey, show. Now I want to so, see this. So, and, I, and I sent it back over, but it's crazy because they sent it out to uh, me, Sam, and Too Rare. Me, Sam, and Tana, Too Rare. Sam didn't pay no mind. He, was, he mm. said he seen it. He said, man, I know what the fuck it was. I, he I just chalked it up on some more. Yeah. He chalked it up. To where uh, he actually uh, did the audition Tried too. to do the audition, yeah. Yeah, and I said, we actually, after the fact, we both seen, like, I seen an audition and stuff like that, but like, we just, it was, that's my dog though, so we ain't really feel no type of way about it. He came, he actually came on set with me still, came on set, wow. got a little check, even though he was like, in the, like, the background, like, in the, the best part. yeah. But he still got a check, he stayed, I he stayed in the same. I didn't even know that, that John. Either. Yeah, you just look at the back, you'll see him, like, when, when he dunked on me, yeah. he ran up, grabbing his neck, da 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 But we, we used oh, the same, uh, that's crazy. trailer and all that, like, he stayed in my trailer and all that's that, and on set. Yeah. Oh, that's super heavy, bro. Yeah. Y'all having some real crazy experiences that other motherfuckers do not be getting, like, yeah, for sure. as well. And I feel like it's still so early on in your career, like, you know what I mean? Like, you really, you, you've you been bubbling for a few years at this point, but it's like, you really, like, at the height of your shit, like, your shit, like, right. you about to cross over full mm -hmm. commercial in a second. Like, you about mm -hmm. to really be it's crazy. a mainstream yeah. artist. It's like every year, right, I always say, like, it's like every single year, from 2019, 2018, 2020, 2021. Every, I mean, 2020 probably was like a little bump when Skiano died. Like, mm. every year at Elevate, you know, every single year. Yeah. And I still feel like, I, I mean, I accomplished a lot, but I don't feel like I accomplished shit yet, you feel me? Yeah. Like, even just signing a deal, that was, that was like one of the major things. Like, I always wanted to do that, but that's just like at the beginning now. Now I just, all right, I just jumped over this hump. I'm, see this right here? I jumped <laughs> over this hump. Right. I still gotta go up this one and imagine to be like 100 mortals. Right. Yeah. But that's, that's when you know that you're really trying to do something great. Because yeah. a lot of people, their main thing be to get that, that deal. Yeah, and it's crazy, but and I'm so forever grateful, though, because I, I know that it'd be like people who is in my shoes or trying to be my shoes who ain't really get too far. Mm -hmm. Like, even, like, before my time, like, I see, like, it, it'd be hard to, like, make it to the next or even like just certain shit that I did, I just know that people like, damn, like. Yeah, it's other motherfuckers that really been putting in work to get where you at. Yeah, so get, To get those same type of opportunities. And it's, it's, it's crazy, bro. You you super humble. Like, it seems like you appreciate every little thing like that, that you did. And I think that's, that's a major thing that, to hold on to. Yeah. So many motherfuckers could be cocky and be feeling like yeah. it's old to, you know what I mean? You got to live in it, bask in it. Yeah, and it's crazy. I, it's crazy. I had a conversation. I was at the Roost picnic the other day. I had a conversation like it was it was this little girl she uh was working at the uh one of the food trucks okay backstage at Bruce picnic and she must have knew how it was and I'm like uh she, and I got some food but she I sat there at the table I'm eating she asked me questions like damn like what advice would you give to your younger self like but she asked me questions and she like damn like that's crazy like I wouldn't even think you would talk to me like like I wouldn't even think you would just like talk back to me like. I'm like, damn, fuck, I look mean or something. Like, I look right. like, she said, you know, on your Instagram, you just see your lifestyle. You just right. you would think okay. you bougie, stuck up and mean. I'm like, damn, I look at my Instagram. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm smiling in a few right. of these pictures. I don't look that right. mean. I don't make a mean one. Yeah. I ain't trying to be grizzly. <laughs> and, that, and that was crazy. She said that to me. And it was like, damn, like. Yeah, I mean, I think it's part of your wolf. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, think, I think a lot of people see the wolf side, yeah. especially hearing the music, hearing how you sing. It's a it's a rougher demeanor, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's it's crazy, but I feel like I I said it before. I'm like, yo, this nigga like on some DMX shit. Like he really yeah. giving me like DMX vibes. I agree. Just yeah. your sound, your yeah. hunger. It's crazy. Like going like yeah. going to leave with me is kind of you heard it a lot. Like you want the DMX uh, Yang Yang Twins. Like let me ask you, DMX Yang Yang Twins, mm -hmm. Ja Rule. A you vicious mix of everything, yeah. A vicious yeah. mix. You I, ain't I, even, now, I ain't even think of the Yin Yang Twins, but I guess given some of the beats you use, yeah. you could get the Yin Yang yeah. Twins. You could get that in there and that little ruggedness in their voice. Yeah. But definitely DMX, and it's like, if you ever watch like some of DMX interviews, it's certain little shit like super humble dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like you really carry that innocence, like really the, that wolf side, he was a dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. That shit is crazy. That's crazy, right? When you, when you think like, of that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's crazy. Wild. But, and it's crazy because, like, coming up, I told you that's one of the first hip hop artists I heard of. Like, yeah, he used to do that. Easy, shit. like, being Biggie Tupac. Yeah. Man, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. So, you're working on your album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of other albums, 
you know, especially starting out, is 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 something special to people. Especially like, I want to say like a debut. I like when you really at your top, you at your peak, and you about to get the people something. What are you putting into this album that you haven't put in anything else in the past? I put like a lot, like more dedication. This ain't last. Like my, I dropped the mixtape before, like my first mixtape, Full Moon, but it was like, mm -hmm. it was me. I want to get some out. Let me just record a few songs. No, this right here was like, yeah. Since, I, since I signed, I spent the whole month out of LA when I first signed. Mm. A month at the studio in the crib on the first floor. Mm. And I'm recording every day. Every day, like record, but every single day. None of them songs for me recording every day that month is going to probably no, no, none of them songs. I'm lying. None of them songs for recording every day yeah. is on this tape. Damn. None of them. I mean, you got a lot of extra shit in the tuck, so it was yeah. just like yeah. practice just for yeah, you to find. Me just yourself. trying to find like different flows. Like, I want this tape to be like a no skip. Like, when you hear the album, they like, damn, like, I don't think you can top that that album. Right. Like, I want this shit. This, I ain't gonna say I want because I didn't ever record everything. It's, it's in. Mm -hmm. This shit right here is just like so per and I'm really like a big critic of myself. I can take criticism. Mm -hmm. Yo, this shit ass, you said this before, like, or no, you sound the same. Yeah. Or like, or let me explain it to you first. Let me explain to you what I did before you really make your opinion on it. Oh, or you did this. Or, or no, let me hear it. Or no, then let me play from other people. I take like I use a few critics to listen to my music. I don't really like take everybody's advice. I I listen to everybody's advice, I listen, but I don't take everybody. Yeah. I got like probably like three harsh critics that I really might send my music to and like, or if they said it. All right, I gotta go with that. You feel me? Mm. Yeah. Feel me? Are they? Are they like and one of them? My sister. Okay. Cause I was about you to say mean? like who who are like who are these three people like are they like people in the industry or you no, more no, respect no. people around you? No 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 no. And, and, and and my sister right. Say. She, my sister right. Coming up like even when everybody who blew up in the city like she had heard somebody music. She like this song right here gonna blow up or this song that the motherfucker in the city blow up. Mm. Like she said that about a few people before they blew up. And like and cool me and ski, like you feel me? Yeah. And she got an air, like and so I sent her something, like you feel me? Yeah. I let her give her me her. She like, nah, you you said it, you said it, you sound like that, all right? All right, mm. put that in the tuck. Just keep that in the catalog. How about this? I like this, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. That's a good I job. I love that. And so you are, so tell me about this like new and up and coming album. Do you want to mm. work with Doja Cat? Like, is there Doja Cat coming? Is there no, no, Missy no. Elliott coming on there? No, I screwed. I always used to say I want to work with Doja Cat. I, I, I mean, I probably And explain mean, that a little I bit about Doja, Doja Cat. Cat. Why? I, I fuck Doja Cat. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Why checking. Doja Cat? I don't just know. I, I, I fucked with the song she had and I feel like she was different. I feel like that just yeah, was different. Yeah, it was different. I was different. Like, just work with her. I still work with her, but I ain't. When I said I want to work with Kid, like I, I ain't really too crazy about working with Dirty Yeah. Kid. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he like I. He I work with her, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't. Yeah, I'll just do it. I'll just do it real quick. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's that is hilarious. Is, uh, so on the new album, who can we know like a feature? Is there any features, or is so it just like really be? my like debut? I, I didn't put no. It might be someone on the deluxe. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't even know if I can say nothing. I'm signing. Right, exactly. Know so you say. can't even say yeah, too much. But, exactly. I mean, on a wolf side, I got like this two like house hosts. Names I got like my brother Tasmanian and Sam Santana. Yeah. I don't got no everything else. I want you to really hear me. Like yeah. you got to hear me. Like, yeah. 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 Cause I know yeah. I can listen to a song for me and be like, yo, this shit ass. I'm not gonna never think all oh, my music good. Right. And I'm not gonna even, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not gonna never. As much as uh, some people wanna feel themselves like that, like you can't never fuck up. Yeah. Like, nah, some shit ain't it. Yeah, I really like, you, I, like, you know, motherfuckers yourself. really can't hear themselves. Like, I can hear myself. I get irritated. I don't even like listening to myself in the car because I heard my <laughs> voice so much growing, like, yeah. growing up in life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I hear myself yeah, talk you every day. Yourself. Exactly. So, in order for, like, to listen to your own music every day yeah. in the car, you gotta be like one conceited motherfucker. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, like gangster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No, nah, that's real shit though. Cause we was talking about that recently. Like uh, my brother was asking me, like, damn, like you don't watch the shows and shit. Like I can't look at myself and watch myself yeah. all the time. Like, like, I yeah. just did that. Yeah. I, I was there when it happened. I know exactly, the bro. I'm like yeah. I just laid that shit. I did it. I know what we talked about. Like I just kind of move on from it. Yeah. It's hard to sit there and then you know, after sit here for an hour and then go back and watch the whole joint again. Yeah. That's it is some conceited shit. Like if you listen to yeah, look at yourself all day. I can like every music video I got, I probably can watch it like 
three times after I drop it, three, four times after I drop it. And that's like spread it out. Or that's probably like during the week. <laughs> I ain't yeah. gonna say spread it out. That's probably like four times just that week. This is a really serious. Let me see what everybody's saying right here, even though I was there when I shot it. Yeah. Let right. me see my music video. I ain't gonna watch it no more. Yeah, I, I can't, can't remember the last time I watched the Swag Talk video. Yeah. Like, I can't remember the last time I watched it. I can't remember the last time. I don't really be watching my own shit. Like, yeah. 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 I say I live in the moment, like I I, I do what yeah. you do in that moment, and after that, like I'm out that joint. Like you give it to the people, it's for the people to watch. It ain't really for me, like you know what I mean. Like I can try yeah. to learn. I guess it helps to critique yourself, go over shit. Like maybe when you listen to some of your shit, you 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 pick up on little shit. Mm-hmm. All right, I might change this, but for the most part, I just really just try to be organic with shit. So right. I don't want to critique myself too much. I don't know, like, do do you do that with the music? Like, is it more about being organic, or is it really about keying in on something that you're trying to accomplish? Like, you, is it a goal when you go in the booth? Like, you see, like, for most of you saying, most of my music, I'm just like giving swag, and I'm just doing, I'm just being the most creative I can be. Mm. With, with most of my music, some of my music, I'm really, I'm, I'm probably kind of expressing myself. In a way, it depends on what type of song it is. Like I'm, right. I'm saying something. You already hear me saying. I feel like I had to get something off my chest right quick. But I always say to myself, like, I, I wanted to make like, cause two songs I really don't make too much of. I've been through a lot. I got like shit really happening in my life, so I really want to make like a pain song, mm. like a real life, like that you can really yeah. imagine what I'm talking about. Yeah, like or a love song, you know. Yeah, and I really, it's like my music even come out toxic. Yeah, yeah. or. I'm just talking some fly shit, and you yeah. just yeah, no, that real shit. And you, 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 you a pro at talking that toxic shit now. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. you got that well, shit now. Right, right, that me doing one. that, right? It boosts my female fan base. Yeah, like one of like sixty percent. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Sixty percent, like probably higher. Now I ain't really look. Yeah, it, my female fan base been growing like so much lately, just off of people just like hearing my voice and hearing how I talk. You know, shit you be saying, yeah. yeah. Like, some people just really love my voice. Probably don't even care how I look. <laughs> just really love my voice. That's crazy. Like. They be infatuated with that shit. And it's different, too. Well, speaking like the swag, you've been dressing like super goofy on them. Like, I do not that. goofy in the bad, but like you getting freaky on them. Like, uh, yeah. I seen the green joints you just had on with the, the big ass yeah. cuffs and all that. I'm yeah. like, yo, where you be finding all this shit? Like, uh, yeah. what, what's, what's inspiring you to get all freaky with the, with the see, you know what I'm saying? See, uh, I'm just in the sway. I'm in a fashion. I like to go out to New York for fashion week. Like I get, like, I be out there. Like I like to just right. give sway. I don't know. It's just I love sway, right? But I know that like I like to express myself. I feel like that's just different. I just like tie back to my music with me just being like just giving sway, just something like you know. Yeah. I don't like. I get mad and I catch myself like damn. I do like a regular get money Philly nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't, don't like to see yourself yeah. looking yeah, like, like everybody I else. I had some mirrors on. I'll be mad as shit with some Balenciaga. I'll be like. Shh. I'm done. <laughs> I don't even want to take no pictures. I don't want to take no pictures. I don't, oh no pictures. I don't, like, yeah. I mean, I don't want to take no pictures. Yeah, like, niggas. Niggas. yeah, like, I might wear that type of shit, like, on some cool shit, like, yeah. on some date, you know, on a date, or yeah. whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, like, I like to look like. Did when you, you look just at say me, a date? Yeah, I should never shed that. <laughs> Hold on now. <laughs> so, no, you, know, you, 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 got little, you got a little girlfriend, or. What? I know no, the yeah, ladies want to know this. Do you have a. Yeah, I got a girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, everybody all else don't DM talk to them. Then, all right. They gonna be on it. They, I, I think. It, say, I think. I think they make it worse. They gonna. Ask I think everybody. when they find out you got somebody you're interested in, I think this, the ladies yes. tend to go harder A after that because then it's like they, they like competition. Yes. They be like, oh, all right. They like, I gotta turn one, the heat up on them. Fifty other women, just one other woman. Mm-hmm. They, yep. turn the heat, they turn the heat all the way up. That's <laughs> terrible. Yeah, no, that's crazy, crazy. And you said you're going to have love songs, or is it going to be more love-y in I'm the new album? figure it out. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I'm just trying to figure it all out. Okay, you're just going to figure it out. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> you're going to figure it out day by day. I see, yeah. I love that. So, like, with being from, from Philly, like, the fame shit, I don't want to say, like, we ain't used to it. I guess... We ain't used to it. You grew up a regular nigga, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Is it overwhelming at any point dealing with all this new celebrity in a sense? So many people running up on the truck, you know what I'm saying? Philly, we like standoffish. Yeah. We don't be liking too much, too many niggas looking at you. I don't know what you're looking at me for. I don't know if you know me or you feel like you know me, you know what I mean? Right. 
I don't it, know what type it, of time you on. It's like certain times in my life where it can be. I mean, not no more. Like I'm older. Like when I was younger, when I like I first blew up, mm-hmm. it was kind of I got because I blew up at seventeen. Yeah. Right. I'm twenty two now. Yeah. So blowing up at seventeen, it was like people coming up to me in school. Can I take pictures with you? I'm still walking to school. All right, now let me start driving school. Let me get. You know what I mean? Let me start. Yeah. yeah. Walk to school. People taking pictures with me. Like, yeah, hey, I take pictures with you. Come to my class. Now my principal, all right, ooh, you got you got to do homeschool. We, we think you should do homeschool. It's probably distracting you. You distract wow. other kids. Damn. So wow. then I just, but then I stopped going to school. I right, yeah. fucking them out. One day I just walked out of school during lunchtime. I never came back. Yeah. Wow. I just said I'm out. You know. But Did you like, at least get your GED or something? No. So oh, you, just knew, you just knew you just knew it was up from there. I got you. Yeah, but it's like certain. It's like when I was like being younger, like certain. I used to enjoy it. Like I still enjoy. It. I love it. But I'm not. I don't never say no to pictures and none of that. I yeah. love it. But like, like when I never was like younger, like real shit going on in my life, and then that at the same time, like in the public eyes, it's like uh, it get like yeah. a little bit like heavy. But it'd be like I don't know now. I just like so balanced. I'm so used to it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just try to. I don't know. Sometimes like it can get like, you know. It get crazy, or you like find a balance with it. Like you yeah, find sometimes I just try to it. balance it. I don't even know how I'm trying to say it right now. But sometimes I try to balance it out like certain ways, but I can't explain like yeah. where it can get to a point in time where, where I gotta balance. You know what I'm saying? You gotta turn that shit down yeah, a little bit. Yeah, like that. Yeah. So, nah, I made you though. Definitely some different shit to deal with in a crazy part. Damn, you was dealing with that shit since 17. Yeah. They really kicked you out to school pretty much on some shit. Yeah, like, yo, crazy. you gotta take your ass home, bro. You, yeah. you. And, and you I was getting, class. we was getting booked to come to other schools while we was in mm-hmm. school. So it was like, ain't nobody let us out of school. We out. Fuck the school. Yeah. I'm walking out of school to go during lunchtime. I'm gonna go to the school. I used to always leave during lunchtime because you can leave out the school during lunchtime. Yeah. Yeah. Feel me? So I would all right, go to this another school. All right, fuck it. We're gonna come back for the rest of the day. I ain't come back to school. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Shit like that. Like, what wow. grade? What grade was it that you walked out on? I walked out on 11th. 11. 11? But I was supposed to be in 12. Okay. You know? Yeah, yeah. I left back. But I was about to get pushed back up and literally, but I said, fuck it, I'm already blowing up. Right, you're already, yeah. And I'm trying to explain to my mom, like, yeah. I was about to say, how did she take yeah, it? Your she mom say? would probably like, be she, like, like, her being with though. me in public, she could see how I go. Like, my mom and my dad, they could see right. how I would go with me in public, like, just being with me in public. And people ask to take pictures of me, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And some of my people keep coming up to ask to take pictures with my child. Like, <laughs> it must really be somebody. And then you start seeing videos performing. And you just see, like, a bunch of people, like, screaming in the top of the lungs recording. That like probably show you something like man like yeah. oh uh, he got it yeah yeah, yeah like yeah. like we still look at him like Sloan but he yeah. you know what I mean he be for him Sloan out here like they really yeah. fuck on him yeah that's crazy it probably definitely hard to convince moms you know black moms right I was about to say I'm about to play with my mom too like even like it's like coworkers she's like even our coworkers our job. If this shit sound like I, I, I heard it my son, or my kids, like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And then you wow. really start getting it because then it was coming part of your life too. Like they, you could see, you know what I'm saying? And when yeah. it started to involve them, yeah, yeah it started involving yeah. you too. Like, it, it just be like, now yeah. you know that this shit reaching. That's yeah. crazy that you said that because somebody had recently, um, when we had Mandy on and shit, they was like, uh, somebody sent it to my mom. She like you got these people talking to me. They always oh, saying all this shit. Like yeah, they see me in the kitchen. What? I'm like, oh yeah, you you know we popping now. Yeah, yeah, like you know wow, it's real now. They send it to your mom. Yeah, that's so it's like crazy. once it start getting to other people, that's when you know that shit real. Yeah. How did you feel like once your mom starting to see it without you saying it to her? See, like to this day, like my mom ain't never, she never been to a show. Mm. Like my pop, he been to a show. So like, see, like seeing it through the phone, but really seeing that shit in person, like. Yeah, it's like that's so different. different. It's like you can really yeah, see, like this so is really that shit. You can yeah. feel it, like yeah. when you walk out on stage and you see a thousand flashlights on, yeah, bunch of flashlights. It's like yeah. a big ass. It's like I don't even know how to explain it. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it'd be like a big ass cloud right there. All you oh say shit! Is like it's the lights waves and, all that. and like light make it look like smoke. It just look different. Just like yeah. you see that. You see how they scream like that? Like yeah, like, you make you want to You just look at the crowd. You're just like. Look around like, yeah, damn, wow. damn, like this shit crazy. Like, I just came from like 59th from Mass, like <laughs> rap man, wow. corner, just like think about this shit, like you know yeah. what I mean? Do it ever get to Especially you? Like, that. do you ever feel it? Wow. Yeah, I feel it. Every, I feel the same. Every time I go on stage, I feel the same feeling since I first first got on. Stage. Yeah, the feeling never changed. That's the good part about it. Mm. Like you wow. feel like you feel like love, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like it's like like I ain't gonna say it's equivalent to like. Family love, but it's yeah. like love. It's, 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 it's yeah. damn near equivalent. It's like, yeah. like I feel like love. You hear me? Yeah. All right, that's major, bro. 
I love Super that. major. I'm, I'm I'm happy for you, man. I'm glad to yeah, see you I doing your that. thing and, and prospering. Yeah. And, doing, and doing it your way, keeping it straight, real, straight, true, straight, authentic. Everything about you, just you, not on no biting yes. shit. Yes, I love you that. You are amazing, yeah, and you're so that, creative, baby. and that's really something different Thank that you. I feel like a lot of people will probably copy, but Lord knows they got the original from you. Yeah, they know. That's amazing. <laughs> they, they know. know. That's amazing. I hope, I hope you enjoyed the food. I love the food, but you know what I just said? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love the food. I already know how it go. I know. And now I'm about to just that. tear it up real quick <laughs> off the camera. No, facts, so, facts. <laughs> so, um, is there anything else that you want to let the people know that you got coming up uh, to look out for? Or any shows, anything like that? Yeah, I'm. A, uh, we gonna throw like the biggest dollar party. A dollar in party. The city. We need a dollar release party. party. That's a vicious joint. Wow. A dollar bar in the city. A dollar bar. Dollar bar. What's the age limit? Because we're pretty old. So. Yeah, yeah, this might be like 18. And I was about to say, this is like a young boy. Yeah. No, it's I know. everybody. I'm going to do something for the, for the youth too, though. Like a yeah. concert too. Like for an album. Like this, I hear it's going to be 18 and up. That one going to be like just like all ages. All ages. Exactly. That's fine. Because I feel like, like the like youth definitely. Yeah. 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 That's a good joint. Because we're right? old, so we want to come in and make sure we support the old people. I'm that young. support you. Yeah. I'm young. You know? I'm right. getting younger and younger. Right. What you talking about. Okay. I don't got no grays in my beard. And it's all <laughs> natural. Oh, my gosh. You know what I'm saying? I'm special oh out this gym. Anyway. I had a body since 21, so don't think I just had to go bald. <laughs> like, it's a, it was a personal uh, decision. Uh, just saying. You know what I'm saying? Don't be calling me okay, old. Okay, okay. It was You're my birthday, You're not that though. old. It was my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me add that in there real quick. It was my no, birthday. No. But listen, man, y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Smooth. And it's your girl Lex. Listen, we got boy Sloan. Sloan in the <laughs> building. I'm already digging right into the fish. Listen, right. yeah, go Let's get, get it. it. Yeah, <laughs> we out. Let's go.